On Monday, March 4th, all the Valley North freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will be issued their own MacBook Airs for educational use both at school and at home. I sat down with Carol Bartolak to find out what distribution day is going to look like and what students should expect when they come to school on Monday. So the schedule for that Monday, you'll start in advisory. So the first thing in the morning, you'll go to your advisory and you'll be there for an hour and 45 minutes. The laptops will already be in the rooms. We'll pass them out. They'll have the student's name on them already. Students will log on. Um, we'll talk about the responsible use agreement. Every student will sign it electronically. And then for the rest of that time, There'll be a, a bingo type board where uh, encouraging kids try this on your laptop, try this to get to know it better and understand how it's set up and everything. The rest of that school day will start hour one right after that's over and we'll have the rest all the hours but they'll be shortened. The idea there is students helping students because we know we have a lot of students who are familiar with the Mac world but not all students are and so we want that opportunity for them to come familiar with their laptops. I also wanted to find out where students can get help with their laptops should they have problems in the days after distribution. On the Canvas um, Power Up Student Power Up page, we'll put those documents that say, you know, you want to do this, here's the direction. Do you want to do this, here's the direction. We'll put all that up there. We're going to start an Instagram account. When we find out something specific, like uh, there's an issue or something and we want to spread the news to all the kids, we'll post it there. We'll post short, quick videos. Did you know you could do this, that, you know, on the Instagram account? as well as keep things updated on the student um, power up in Canvas. Every classroom, everywhere, will have a poster up that says try these troubleshooting steps. And I guess what I'd love to do is create a culture at this school where we realize somebody around us has the answers. So if we're struggling with a laptop, we have issues, ask, ask all your friends, ask the teachers, ask everybody around because we have the answers. And it's not always the teachers that have the answers. A lot of times it's other kids. Once you've done all that and you're still really struggling and you can't figure out what's going on, we're going to have our building tech person in the library every morning before school and during North time.